All right, folks, buckle up because we're diving headfirst into the wild world of cyber espionage. This isn't just any story. It's one that will make you rethink every click, every download and every email you open. We're about to unravel a tale that'll make your digital life flash before your eyes. Imagine the most intense thriller you've ever seen, but this time it's real and it's happening in the invisible world of ones and zeros. It's a tale of stealth, intrigue, and enough technical jargon to make your head spin. But don't worry, we're here to break it down for you. Think of it as a high-stakes game of cat and mouse, where the stakes are global security, and the players are some of the smartest minds in the world. We're talking about Operation Aurora. If you haven't heard of it, you're in for a wild ride. This was one of the most sophisticated cyber attacks in history, and it changed the way we think about digital security forever. This wasn't some kids in a basement messing around. This was a highly coordinated, highly sophisticated attack that targeted some of the biggest names in tech, including Google. We're talking about a level of expertise that would make even the most seasoned hackers sit up and take notice. This was a highly sophisticated attack that targeted some of the biggest names in tech, including Google. Imagine the shockwaves that sent through the tech community. It was like finding out that the most secure vault in the world had been cracked open. Imagine someone breaking into Fort Knox, not to steal gold, but to snatch the blueprints for the entire building. That's Operation Aurora in a nutshell. The attackers weren't after money, they were after information and they got it. That's Operation Aurora in a nutshell. The hackers managed to infiltrate the systems of some of the most secure companies in the world and made off with valuable data. It was a heist of epic proportions, but instead of jewels or cash, the loot was information. This wasn't just a bunch of ones and zeros being thrown around willy-nilly. This attack was different. It was precise, calculated and executed with a level of skill that left cybersecurity experts around the world in awe. It was like watching a master artist at work, but instead of paint, they were using code. It was a wake-up call, a shot across the bow of the Internet that signalled a new era of cyber warfare. Suddenly everyone realised that the digital world was just as vulnerable as the physical one and the consequences could be just as devastating. And the world would never be the same. Operation Aurora was a game changer. It forced companies to rethink their security measures, governments to reconsider their cyber policies, and individuals to be more cautious about their online activities. So grab your tinfoil hats, folks, because things are about to get interesting. We're entering a new era of cyber warfare, and it's going to be a wild ride. Stay tuned, because this is just the beginning. To truly grasp the gravity of Operation Aurora, we need to rewind to the year 2009. It was a time when the digital landscape was vastly different from what we know today. The internet was still in its adolescence and the rules of engagement were still being written. Twitter was still finding its footing, a fledgling platform where people were just beginning to explore the idea of microblogging. It was a new way to communicate, but it hadn't yet become the global phenomenon it is now. Facebook was just becoming the behemoth it is today, transitioning from a college networking site to a social media giant that would eventually connect billions of people around the world. It was a time of rapid growth and change, and the iPad was still a twinkle in Steve Jobs' eye. The iPhone had only been out for a couple of years, revolutionising the way we interact with technology, but the idea of a tablet was still in its infancy. The internet was a different beast back then. Websites were simpler, social media was in its nascent stages, and the concept of streaming video was just beginning to take off. It was a time of exploration and experimentation. It was the Wild West, a, a lawless frontier where anything went. There were few regulations, and the digital landscape was chaotic and unpredictable. It was a place where innovation thrived, but so did danger. Cyber security, well, let's just say it wasn't exactly top of mind for many. Most people were more concerned with the convenience and novelty of the internet rather than its security. Antivirus software was often an afterthought and many users were blissfully unaware of the risks. It was like leaving your front door wide open and being surprised when someone walked in and stole your TV. 
The lack of awareness and preparedness made the internet a prime target for those with malicious intent. But amidst this digital free-for-all, there were whispers, whispers of something more sinister lurking in the shadows, conversations in hushed tones about unseen threats and vulnerabilities, rumours of shadowy groups backed by nation-states prowling the digital landscape looking for weaknesses to exploit. These were not just random hackers, but highly organised and well-funded entities with specific agendas. These weren't your average hackers looking for a quick buck. They were sophisticated operatives with advanced skills and resources at their disposal. Their targets were not just individuals, but corporations and governments. They were after something far more valuable information, information that could be used for economic gain, political leverage, or even military advantage. The stakes were incredibly high. Little did anyone know these whispers would soon turn into a deafening roar with Operation Aurora. This was a wake-up call for the world, a stark reminder of the vulnerabilities that existed in our increasingly digital lives. The events that unfolded would change the way we think about cybersecurity forever. Operation Aurora, it sounds like a Tom Clancy novel, doesn't it? A tale of espionage, intrigue and high-stakes drama. But this isn't fiction, this is the real world and the stakes are even higher. And trust me, the reality is just as dramatic, if not more. The digital battlefield is vast and complex, with every click and keystroke potentially opening doors to unseen threats. This wasn't some smash-and-grab job. No, this was a sophisticated operation, executed with the precision of a military strike. This was a highly coordinated, meticulously planned assault on some of the biggest names in the tech world. Companies that we rely on every day for our emails, our searches, our software. Imagine this. A barrage of malicious code, crafted with surgical precision, slithering its way through the digital defenses of companies like Google, Adobe, Yahoo, and dozens more. Each line of code, a weapon. Each vulnerability, a target. The goal? To steal their crown jewels, source code, intellectual property, and most troubling of all, the personal data of millions of users. Information that in the wrong hands, could be used for anything from identity theft to corporate espionage. This was a new breed of cyber attack, one that exploited vulnerabilities so small, so seemingly insignificant, that they were practically invisible. These weren't just bugs in the system, they were tiny cracks in the digital armor. It was like finding a needle in a haystack, except the needle was a tiny piece of code, and the haystack was the entire internet. The attackers had the patience and the skill to find these needles and use them to their advantage. The attackers, whoever they were, knew exactly what they were doing. They had the expertise, the resources, and the determination to pull off an operation of this scale. They were in and out before anyone even knew what hit them. Like ghosts in the machine, they left no trace of their presence, only the aftermath of their actions. And the damage? Well, let's just say it would take years to fully assess. The ripple effects of such a breach are far-reaching, affecting not just the companies involved, but their users, their partners, and the entire digital ecosystem. Cybersecurity experts scrambled to contain the breach, working around the clock to patch vulnerabilities and secure their systems. But the attackers had already made their mark, and the digital landscape was forever changed. News of the attack spread like wildfire, sending shockwaves through the tech industry and beyond. It was a wake-up call a stark reminder of the vulnerabilities that exist in our interconnected world. In the aftermath, experts convened to discuss what went wrong and how to prevent such attacks in the future. It was clear that the rules of engagement had changed and the digital arms race was only just beginning. As for the attackers, they remain in the shadows, their identities and motives still a mystery. But one thing is certain, they have set a new standard for cyber warfare and the world will never be the same. The battle for digital supremacy continues, with each side constantly evolving, adapting and preparing for the next skirmish. In this new era of cyber conflict, vigilance and innovation are our best defenses. As we move forward, we must remember that our digital lives are intertwined with our real ones. The security of one ensures the safety of the other. And in this digital age, we are all on the front lines. Now, if you're going to make a statement in the world of cyber espionage, what better target than Google? I mean, we're talking about the company that practically invented the Internet as we know it. Well, sort of, but even giants can stumble. When news broke that Google, the titan of tech, 
the keeper of our digital secrets, had been breached, the world collectively gasped. This wasn't just some random website getting hacked. This was Google. If they weren't safe, then who was? The attack on Google was a gut punch, a stark reminder that in the digital age, no one is invincible. It shook the company to its core and forced them to confront a chilling reality. Even with their vast resources and army of brilliant engineers, they weren't immune to the shadowy forces lurking in the digital ether. While Google might have been the biggest name on the hit list, they weren't the only ones caught in the crosshairs of Operation Aurora. Remember Adobe? The folks who brought you Photoshop and the bane of every office worker's existence, the PDF? Yeah, they got hit too. Now you might be thinking, Adobe, what were those hackers after? Free fonts. But hold your horses, because it turns out Adobe was a gold mine of information. See, they weren't just about creative software, they also handled a ton of customer data. And that, my friends, is valuable currency in the world of cybercrime. The attack on Adobe was a stark reminder that in the interconnected world of the internet, every link in the chain is a potential target. Now let's talk about the masterminds behind this audacious cyber heist. Who were these digital ninjas, these phantoms of the internet, who could pull off such a brazen attack? Elderwood, it sounds like the name of a retirement community, doesn't it? But don't let the innocuous name fool you. These guys were the real deal. Well, the trail led to a group shrouded in mystery known as Elderwood. Cybersecurity experts believe Elderwood was no ragtag group of hackers operating out of their parents' basements. Oh no, this was a sophisticated operation, likely state-sponsored, with the resources and expertise to rival any intelligence agency. They were ghosts in the machine, leaving behind the barest of digital fingerprints, making them incredibly difficult to track. But even the most skilled phantom can slip up. 